Hey, so for this video we have a mini projector. Um, I'm pretty excited because it's, it's small and it's tiny and I can usually put it anywhere. We're gonna try it out in that corner over there. This is why I kind of did a little handheld, you know? So let's get this bad boy unboxed and try it out with some things on the switch, on the computers, let's go. <laughs> All right, so we have an LED mini projector. It supports USB, laptop, SD card, TVs, movies, headphones, a phone, and a battery. <laughs> how does it? How does it display a battery? I have no idea. Um, looking at the side, is just this, and it's again this, and all the components it brings. It brings headphones. Okay, no, I, th I think this is mismarketing, but okay. So it says up here, time to play. We're gonna open this bad boy up. I always have a struggle opening things on camera, you know? Just... Come on, my boy, it's just a simple box. All right. You have this bad boy open, is it? Oh, nope, it's one of those slidey outs. So we're gonna take out one of these foamy things. And then I can already tell everything is inside this. Wow, this is really small. So in my family, we've we have we've had a couple of projectors, and this is by far the tiniest one. We're gonna leave the best thing for last. Let's start off with a remote, which I did not know that it came with. <coughs> so it's a remote, has power on, this, has a bunch of stuff, numbers. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I like the color scheme, except this one. I like the color scheme, it's, it's all right. I'm gonna put this to the side. Moving on, we have wrapped in this little sandwich bag. A uh, what? Now, okay. Despite the, the box being generic, I am extremely happy that it came with an HDMI. You can never have a shortage of HDMIs, so. Especially me being me since I stream on YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash zone 5 studios. Um, I always find myself in need of a USB, I mean of an HDMI, so it's pretty cool. We're gonna put this here to the side as well. Moving on, we have, ah, uh, this, this, this right here is basically my childhood. We have, a yellow, a video, and two audio videos. So this is for your retro stuff, like your VCRs, or your N64s, your SNESs, your NESs, your PlayStation 1s, your Xboxes, or your PlayStation 2s. Or did I mention GameCube? Yeah, for those consoles. So basically, this is for those types of things, or your old DVDs. It's pretty lit, we're gonna try some N64 on this. Over here, we have the AC adapter has a, a thing, I don't know what the name of the thing is, so, but it has a thing. And the main, the man of the hour, the manual. So, uh, chapter one, the manual has a product features and this and the, that, and this. this beautiful book, I recommend 10 out of 10. We're gonna leave this bad boy for later because lately I've been eating it and I'm not like everyone else. So, throwing this aside, this is the projector itself. It's so cute, it's so adorable. It even has a little lens, you know? That's the quality, you know? Little lenses, man, little lenses. I don't think this video is the format I want it to be. So yeah, we're gonna get this bad boy hooked up. I like the lens a lot. Um, we're gonna see what's up. I'm gonna plug in the switch to see if how breath of, how a game like Mario Odyssey looks on the switch, so I'll be right back All right, so I have the switch plugged in It's so cute. Uh, I'll show you guys real quick how the setup is looking like So I have it on top of this. It's pretty adorable. I had to turn off the Studio lights per se, so we're gonna see what's up. I Like it because it has speakers on it. I'm gonna play some Sonic Mania real quick um, Because you know Sonic Mania Plus is it's fresh on my mind. 
This is the audio from the thing, and it's really good. So, it's, it's, it's amazing, you know? This is a really good thing. It makes me want to buy one of those pull-up things, but even, even the fact that it's in my popcorn aesthetic wall. Look at this. I'm picking Sonic's nose over here. We're going to play some Sonic Mania real quick. On the Switch, you can play anywhere, but can you play on your wall? Now I can. This is dope. Excuse my language. Um, yeah, we're going to play some Sonic Mania real quick. The audio on this sounds fantastic. And obviously, you can you can also adjust it. So let me adjust it real quick. Go blurry. The lens is very adjustable, but I think the sweet spot's right here. I obviously need to like sit down and do some more testing with it. So I'm gonna go to another room and plug in the N64. See what's up. But it, so far, so good. This is pretty exciting. This is this is perfect for people that live like somewhere where you have like a let's just do this to make fun of myself. Um, have a backyard or something. This is really, 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 really good. I did. I I was a little hesitant because of the quality, but God Almighty, was I proven wrong? Right. I can see a problem now. So you see when you turn a lot. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You can see like a little diagonal frame. Um, maybe it's like a little lag, but I don't mind. It's not that bad. For, for, for its price and for what it is, I really don't mind. This is fantastic. So we're gonna try out a couple games here. We got Mario Tennis Aces. I feel like it needs a little bit of adjusting just because the game is more detailed. There we go. It isn't like Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is just a pixel game or for, for lack of a better term, I call it that. But for those of you that know, it's just a sprite game. It does need a lot of adjusting. But you can see, like I mentioned before, a couple lines. But I, I, don't, I really don't care. For a second, I thought the court was like marble almost, but it isn't. We're going to try out some classic systems with different aspect ratios. We're going to try out the N64. Oh, actually, we're going to try out Super Smash Bros. Melee for the GameCube. If you guys want to see more examples of what this machine can do, hit me up on my personal channel. I'll put the link in the description. If you guys want to see more, I'll make more videos based on the fan reaction. If you guys are enjoying this video, drop a like, hit that subscribe button for more unboxing videos. Let's move on to the GameCube. This is gold. Again, the setup is not right. This is just quick. Remember, this channel is called Unprofessional Unboxing. It ain't no unbox therapy or anything. But the fact that I can play Melee on my trash colored room is something very good. We're gonna go to Melee real quick. This is something fantastic, yo. You know, we ain't no We're gonna go. You know, you know, you know that that Fox only Fox whatever. Nah, we're doing Mario versus Fox level nine. Wish me luck, cause I know I'm gonna lose. I don't even think I have Final Destination unlocked. I don't. So the next best thing, the well, green greens according to this. Yo, f***ing Fox is broken. Fox is not broken no more. Oh. I swear to God, Fox is broken. What? That's the bulbul I be talking about. So yeah, that was <laughs> the mini projector. It had a, it doesn't even have a name. It's called a generic thing. The Amazon link is going to be down in the description down below. Support us is an affiliate link. Um, if you want something cheap for your family, and I shouldn't really cheap out on your family, but if you want something cheap, affordable, and that it works, this projector works. I'm very picky when it comes to visuals, but this is really good. 
Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, stay golden. See you on the flip side.